Hello everybody, my name is Alan, I'm from Sauber Lab, and today will be another video about Synology NAS. This video specifically, we're gonna explain a little bit about Click Connect and try to explain if this system is safe to use or not. In this way, if you start to use it, at least you're gonna understand and you're gonna know how to configure it and what you need to take care in order to use it. So if you like this idea and want to learn a little bit more about it, we're gonna show in this video, but first of all, don't forget to leave a like Consider subscribe for the channel if you're not subscribed yet, and let's understand a little bit more about it. As I told in this video, we're gonna try to understand if Quick Connect is safe or not. But before we try to understand if it's safe or not, let's understand how easy or how difficult to set up it. If I come here in this Knowledge NAS website, they explain how you can connect it. And to connect, it's really simple. Control panel, external access, quick connect. So if I come here in my Knowledge NAS, exactly it. I have my external access, my quick connect, and here I only add my quick connect ID. Super simple. Only thing that you need to have is connect for your Synology account. Once this one is done, here will be your quick connect ID. And to access this quick connect ID is really simple and we only tape the quick connect or click in this link and that they will bring to your Synology. And once that you connect for Synology, your connect and if you observe here they have your internal IP address and this internal IP address will guarantee that the speeds that you access will be the fastest as possible because basically you are local on your network. If you have a 10 GB network, they will use with 10 GB network. If you have 1 GB network, they will allow you 1 GB network. So it doesn't matter what your outside internet speed, inside your house will be your network speed. But so then you're going to ask, Alan, quick connect from my understand is to be able to have external access for my server. Why then I will use my internal IP? To answer this question, it's simple. First, let's open this Quick Connect white paper. And here they explain all the things, all different types of connections, but what is interesting is to look for this request. So how it work? So if the user requests access to the Synology NAS, first thing, they will have the request, then go for Connect Test, and this Connect Test will check if you are in the same LAN as your Synology NAS. If the answer is yes, they will connect to the LAN. If the answer no, they will go for the second step. The second step will be one test. If you are in the one connection, they will allow it. If not, they will go for HP test. These HP tests have uh, only the last two options. The first one will be hole punch, and the last one will be relay service. So I think that for everyone it's clear what is one connection and what is one connection. But then what is these two options? To understand these two options, we go here in the top and here they explain with diagram how it's going to work. So the whole bunch, basically, they will have uh, your clients that will try to connect using the Quick Connect service. And this Quick Connect will try to communicate for your NAS. This negotiation consists that uh, Synology will try to make a whole, a whole bunch in your system. It means that they will try to negotiate for your Holder to ask to open some specific port. Basically, they will say, please, I want to have external access. Can you open a port X, Y, and Z? And that uh, they will say, yes, I allowed it. And in this way, your final user, your client, and your Synology will be a handshake connection or directly connection using a port 40. Everything set up automatically, and that uh, you will not have control of it. But then the speed will be really fast close for your internet speed. But sometimes the router don't allow this option. What it means? It means that if you want to do this whole punch, they will not allow it, and then come the relay option. This relay option means that all the data or the connection will try to go for quick connect service, and once that don't allow the whole punch, they will create a relay service. This relay service is really similar for the service that Cloudflare performance. What it means? It means that uh, they will create a tunnel until the Synology and that's another tunnel until the client. So Synology will be look like the web interface. What's the problem for it? The problem that uh, once that you create a tunnel for the Synology service 
and that uh, go back for your user it means that we use the bandwidth of, of this knowledge you will create basically a VPN directly from this one and it means that if you have a lot of traffic or a lot of people using the same time this speed will drop otherwise it will cost a lot imagine that uh, 500 users have this quick connect need to go through relay option and because of it 500 users will use Synology service if everyone have one gigabyte internet it means that Synology need to have at least 500 gigabytes free for all these users the problem that is not only 500 will be thousands of users and this one will cost a lot for Synology so as compromise option they will reduce the speed or sometimes when they have too much users the speed will be lower or speed will be fast and everything is controlled by Synology both options either for this relay option either for this both options, either that this punch hole option or this relay option or directly for LAN or others options will be encrypted. So they will use the SL certification. If I come here, if you look here, they have this SL certification and either that I put connection secure and I come for valid certification, they will create a certification use let's encrypt. So in the same way, all the data is encrypted and only the user and the final user will be able to access it different that if you use your internal network this data of course inside your network is still able to be detected and all this data is not secure and it don't have any certification so if you have someone that have access for your network they will be able to see what traffic or, or what data that they will transmit it so in this way Synology become more safe in this way other question that you're gonna ask it's Alan if they use the quick connect server it means that Synology potentially have access for my data and I say yes potentially they have access for your data but Synology make a good reputation and they try to pay money for the people if someone find a correct way or wrong way to access your system so unless Synology has been attacked you're not gonna lose your data you're not gonna have intercept of your data and everything saved but then come the second option once that they look in for my Synology only way that someone can properly hack it will be through my web page so if I log out it here will be my web page that they will give me for try to access it and if someone have your user and your password they will be able to log in to your Synology drive so how you can avoid it first thing create a strong password all time that you create an easy password as one two three it means that if someone try to use brute force they will be able to discover your password one to three and that's make your system totally unsecure so how we can avoid it and how we can control it as long as you have a solution it's work and it's great because if you come here let's close this option and open my control panel and go for secure and secure it i will get in protection this protection will get an auto block it means that if someone try to access my nas 10 times in the last five minutes it means that it will block my system and that they will not be able to access anymore until they disblock it what is the problem for it if someone try to access a lot of time they will be blocked and that will take time to return or will be a little bit more complicated this reason that you can enable this enable block inspiration it means that if someone external for your network suppose that you forget 10 times your password in five minutes or you can put that you forget your password in uh, one hour and that you try 10 times your system will be blocked but if you define that uh, in two days will return and your IP address will be unblocked it means that uh, after two days your password will be unblocked it means that after two days you're gonna be able to try it again this will make really really hard for hackers or someone that's do a brute force to access your system other option that you can do it's activated this option for the OS so if more than one user or more than one server try to pin your server in order to slow down or either make it crash you can allow it and uh, for any trials they will block in your password and that's if someone try to access try to hack it they will be blocking this access for the server and that uh, will make protect your system so in this way we have uh, 
this brute force protection. But the brute force protection is not the best way or it's not the only way because anyway, if you use your password for your Facebook, for Instagram, for Telegram, for all the applications that you have, if any of those applications have the password leak, someone that will have access for a quick connect will be able to access your system. So the best option to protect it is using two-factor authentication. This two-factor authentication make that if someone have your user and your password but they don't have two-factor authentication, they will not be able to access it without your second device. Could be a phone, could be another device that will guarantee that unless someone have that specific information, they will not be able to access your system. So in other words, activate this protection and activate this account. Don't be scared because the only way to access your system through the Quick Connect is know your Quick Connect. So if someone know your Quick Connect, they will try to look in. But if someone don't know your Quick Connect, suppose that you put a lot of aleatory codes and everything, they will be really, really hard for discover your Quick Connect. And that knowledge you don't have a list of all the available Quick Connects that they are available in the market. So if someone try to access this one, they first need to try to access this one. If someone try to create different ideas to try to find an aleatory system, this technology will block it as well. So first layer of protection will be your quick connect. If no one knows your quick connect, no one will be able to access your front page or login page. Anyway, either then someone try to connect your login page, they will need to have your user. And after this one, they will need to have your password. And if you have a two-factor authentication, they will need to have your second or device or two-factor authentication to be able to access it. What makes your system more and more secure? As I told, the only way that they have access for your NAS is through brute force. At the moment, Synology don't give or don't have any information for vulnerability that someone was able to access the Synology server and either then they will pay money for people to protect the vulnerability or at least to avoid it. Also, if we come here and we look for the end conclusion, they will say that for any user or individual, small companies will be okay and really good because you don't need to do any configuration, you don't need to do any port for don't know how to do it. It's really easy to have a quick connect and if your router allowed a punch hole, the speed will be fast. So they will not need the Synology services and that will not be compromised or slow down your system. But if your large organization have thousands of users, the best option will be a VPN or have other tools to be able to access your network. And that will create another layer of protection. But still then, if someone have the VPN ID or the VPN users, they will be able to access it. So always have a good and a bad point. So in other words, Synology Quick Connect is fast if you have punch hole, it's secure, don't need any configuration, don't need to know what you're doing, don't need any IT skills, it's only go there, create, use and enjoy. And if you have a secure password and you are not admin user, this will make your system more safe as well. In the top of this, you can activate two factors authentication and the auto block to preserve it and to make more secure your system. So in other words, if you are a home user or a small organization, yes, you should use a quick connect and you should enjoy it and make the maximum that you can for the system. If you're a large organization, maybe you're gonna review, but either then you still be able to use because it will be safe, but maybe it will be slow, or maybe you're gonna have other things that will slow down your system. So in this way, we arrive in the end of the video. I hope that you guys like this video. If you like this video, please don't forget to leave a like, consider subscribe for the channel if you're not, consider subscribe yet, and see you next time. Bye.